Hey everyone, so I'm back with another blackhead removal video. If you guys haven't seen my two other videos where I did an egg mask and I did a charcoal mask, definitely check out those videos. I'll leave them in this video and also down below for you guys to check out. So today I'm going to be trying out the pore vacuum. So it looks like this. I actually got mine from Amazon. It has an on and off button, so you just push this. That's what it sounds like. It kind of sounds kind of scary. Um, I haven't tried this out yet, but I figured let me try it out and film it. So that's what I'm doing today. The brand is Panasonic. I'll try and leave the exact link for this one down below. So what I've seen on YouTube, most girls just go ahead and start using it. They don't wash their face or anything like that. So my face is dirty. I haven't washed it or anything today. So um, hopefully it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys can really see what's going on. All right, so now we're really zoomed in. You guys can really see what's going on. I'm not wearing any makeup or anything like that. I do have something on my lips, but I won't be working on my lips, so that doesn't really matter. But there's nothing on my face. So you can see all my blemishes and scars and pimples. Um, let me come in a little bit more. So if my face looks really oily or ashy in some places, it's because it is oily and is ashy in some places. Um, but yeah, this is what my skin looks like up close. I get a lot of compliments about my skin. Um, I do have a skincare routine video. I'll link it right here for you guys. Anyway, so this is what it looks like up close the vacuum and let's put it to work all right so you want to vacuum outwards and upwards so outwards and upwards you don't want to um, vacuum going downwards I'm not too sure why but that's what the instructions said so that's what I'm gonna follow so I'm already getting red, if you guys can kind of see that. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, I do see some oil. Um, stay away from your eyes. As you guys saw, it was pulling my skin, so make sure you guys stay away from your eye area. Oh wow, it really makes your face red. Oh, oh, it's hard to do your nose. Oh, oh. My poor face. Oh. Alright, so I mostly see oil. I think I do see like, I don't know if it's a white head. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Right in the corner, right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me zoom in. Uh, yeah, right there. Oh, there we go. That little, I don't know what that thing is. I usually get blackheads like right here, right on my um, cheek. But for the most part, it's mostly like filled with oil, like lots of oil. That's, that's basically what I can see. And then that little white thing. So my final verdict on this, um, I don't know if it's really worth the money to be quite honest. I feel like it just mostly got oil. Yeah, mostly oil. I feel like it, did go, it just got this one little white thing. I don't even know what it is it's it's kind of like a grayish white color um, my face feels okay it's not as red any as before you guys can see the redness is gone um, I pretty much did my entire face I wouldn't recommend this for sensitive skin um, I feel like I do kind of have sensitive skin but there's other people with like really really sensitive skin and this may may leave your face really really red for a long period of time. Mine disappeared like it was there for like maybe a minute and then it was gone um, which is normal because it is sucking your skin so um, I don't know if you guys have it and if you could find it for a really good price then I would recommend trying it out. It actually does 
a pretty good job with grabbing the skin. But the nose area is really hard to um, vacuum because of how it's shaped. It's really hard to grab a hold of the nose. Um, I don't know if you guys can see how dirty it looks. It's so hard to show. But like it's really like dirty but like not with like blackheads. It only had that one little white head that I showed you. But the rest of it is like like oil. So you can see how greasy it looks. And it even got a hair. I even see like a little hair in there. Okay, you guys can see the hair. Like right there, you can see the little hair that I got. I don't know where that hair came from, but there's a hair in there. Okay, you can kind of see how greasy it looks. And the white head is like, it's stuck in there. Right, right there. A lot of you guys ask me, what do I do with my skin after I do all these masks and stuff? I like to exfoliate, especially with something like this. I definitely want to remove the oil that was brought to the surface of my skin. What I like to do is follow up with an exfoliator, which is my spin brush. Um, I've talked about this a few times, but anyways, you can get it for 30 bucks if you use my coupon code. I'll leave my coupon code on the screen and also down below. So basically what I do is I just go ahead and wet my face quickly. Just wet my face with some water. I put a little water on my spin brush, add a little bit of my um, cleansing wash, dab it on my face, and begin exfoliating. And I do this maybe two to three times a week. So this is what the brush looks like after I used it. I didn't have any makeup on or anything like that. But my face wasn't washed or clean or anything, so this is what it looks like. It's fairly dirty, so I'll show you guys what it looks like after I've cleaned it. And this is what the brush looks like after I've cleaned it with soap and water. So you can see how dirty my skin was. And also, using that vacuum probably helped bring dirt and gunk to the surface of my skin. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse my face and come back. Alright, so my face is all nice and clean. I just rinsed off the cleanser so then I go ahead and follow up with some rose water 100% um, rose water you can find in grocery stores health food stores and I use this as my toner and um, I just do maybe about three spritz three or four spritz all in my face then I follow up with a cream or a moisturizer for my face and I'll leave all the products that I'm using in the description box and I just Moisture my face. Yeah, let me know if you guys have ever tried this out and if it worked for you and also let me know if you're going to try it out. Alright, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.